Google is joining the fight against ISIS. Its think tank Jigsaw has been working on a program called the Redirect Method for the past year. It's using algorithms to target potential ISIS recruits and feeding them ads that may dissuade them from joining the terror group. Andy Greenberg is a senior writer at Wired, covering security, privacy, information, freedom, and hacker culture. Good to have you. Good to be here. All right, so explain to us what this program is that Google is using to sort of target these recruits or these potential recruits for ISIS. Well, Google's core business and what they do best is to figure out what people want based on search results and then to intercept them in the middle of those searches and show them targeted advertising. So all, all they're doing here is applying that to this incredibly dangerous group of people who, young men and women who are attracted to joining ISIS, they can find out if you want to join ISIS based on your search terms, like how to join ISIS. Maybe you're looking for waypoints on the way to Syria to join this awful apocalyptic violent group and instead show you ads that take you to these kind of uh, video playlists on YouTube that are meant to dissuade you from from making this really bad decision. Right, it's really cool, right? So it's like, from what I understood from your article, if you put in a search term in Google like jihad, it'll take you, instead of taking you to an actual ISIS site, it'll take you to a video by a cleric that denounces ISIS or says that ISIS is not participating in jihad in the way that the Quran interprets it. That's right, I mean, ISIS has flooded the web and the, the internet as a whole, Twitter, Telegram, all these services with, with propaganda, essentially. And Google, or the subsidiary of Google called Jigsaw, is combating that not by creating, creating their own kind of propaganda, but actually digging up pre-existing content, like hidden camera videos of people inside ISIS's caliphate uh, arguing with ISIS soldiers, or just uh, videos that show the long food lines to get bread right. in Syria. In Raqqa, right, in, in Raqqa, Syria, in the capital sure. of ISIS's caliphate. So the second phase of this redirect method is starting later this month. What's going to be different this time around? So in the first kind of pilot project that they launched earlier this year, ISIS was the target. It was all about, you know, people trying to go to Syria and Iraq. Now they're expanding it as well to North America and uh, right-wing right -wing extremists, more or less, uh, white supremacists, this, these kinds of um, uh, ex extreme right, highly conservative people who are also trying to call for violence or um, other extreme measures. Mm. Um, there have been attempts to dissuade young people from joining ISIS. That hasn't worked as well. Why is that? Well, you know, it's, uh, I think that for young people who are attracted to this group, I mean, it's difficult to get inside their minds, but they see the Islamic Caliphate as a kind of Muslim Disneyland. I mean, uh, talking to the Jigsaw uh, researchers who launched this project, they interviewed you know, dozens of ISIS recruits, people who had been part of the group, people who were attracted to the group. And what, what they found is that they're not actually seeing the, what we see, like the, uh, the true nature of ISIS. And when they do say it, they often dismiss it as propaganda. Mm. So this is about finding something credible and authentic that you can show to these young men and women and uh, that can just start to change their mind. I mean, there has to be after this some sort of human element, some, uh, some kind of intervention, but this can maybe start people down that road of questioning the kind of uh, Islamic extremist propaganda that they've been indoctrinated with. Andy, I'm really curious. Uh, it's, and I don't know if this struck you when you were reporting this piece, that this is a private company engaging in something like this. I wonder what our national security apparatus, our government, is doing. Are they at all working with Jigsaw, i.e. Google, or are they sort of going, wow, this is something that we should maybe be doing? Well, this is a question I had for Jigsaw, for this part of Google as well. You know, if you can identify these people maybe you shouldn't just try to dissuade them, you should arrest them. Arrest them, well, I mean, like, them. Uh, These are people who might become terrorists someday. That seems like an inevitable question. And their answer was very diplomatic. It was basically that Google and YouTube already work with law enforcement in ways that they've outlined. They, they do hand over information when law enforcement or when intelligence agencies demand it or you know, serve them the legal process to get that stuff. So they're not trying to identify by name or track the people who might be joining ISIS, the, you know, Jigsaw, this specific project, they say isn't trying to help make those arrests happen. I mean, they may already be happening, but Jigsaw is instead trying to do this sort of very googly mission of informing people, of using education to try to intercept them, change what they want, um, help give them better information that might change their decisions. It's a fascinating piece. Uh, Andy Greenberg, thanks so much for coming by. I appreciate it. Thank you. It. Yeah.